Welcome back! In this video I show you how to plan a room based on a sketch. Most of the time you can use the function import plan to start your project. But how do you proceed if, instead of a plan, you only have a sketch that is not drawn to scale? Choose the option Room Planning under Create New Project in the Start mode. Then select the second button which allows you to draw a free room shape. After you have done this, you can define the different usage profiles in the menu below. Since the room we are planning is in office anyway, we leave it at standard. In the next step, we define a room height of 2,60 m. The standard wall thickness of 20 cm remains unchanged. After that, we confirm our entries by clicking on OK. We start in the construction mode in the third tool called Story and Building Construction. In the Properties menu, make sure that you have selected the checkbox for Generate Outer Contour automatically. Here you also have the possibility to make changes to the height and wall thickness of the room. For our project, however, we now leave the parameters unchanged. You are now ready to draw the room. I have included the sketch of the room we are about to draw in the bottom right corner of the video as a guide. Draw your first line by clicking in the CAD window. Then drag the line to the right. When you do this, two input fields appear which can be selected with a tab key. This way you can already make changes regarding angle and length. The angle is automatically 90 degrees counterclockwise. If you have made a mistake, don't worry. You can always undo it by pressing Ctrl and Z. Use Enter to confirm your input. Now, with a locked angle, you can draw the length of the line as far as you want and fix the length with another click. You also have the opportunity to press the Tab key again and enter the desired length. Then you can start to draw the second line or second wall. This section is 3,18 m long and has a 90 degree angle upwards. Use the Tab key to switch between the values and hit Enter to confirm your input. Let's put what you have learned into practice. Note that when you drag the line to the left, the point snaps when it's parallel to the origin point. Set the last point and close the room by right-clicking the mouse and selecting Close Polygon. This completes the room construction and you get a room with a predefined wall thickness of 20 cm. On the left side, you see the now active floor, which you can rename if necessary. The floor height is derived from the previously entered room height. The floor thickness of 20 cm is a standard dimension and can also be changed if necessary. Of course, you can also construct multiple rooms. To do this, simply click on Draw New Room again. 